Here I am. I just put a, a Giants logo on here in uh, San Francisco. I still got to finish prepping my uh, my cup here. <clears throat> what I'm using for a base is uh, the Krylon Max because it's a uh, it dries pretty quick. Uh, the max, it, it, it's uh, the drying time is uh, less than 10 minutes, um, and it doesn't uh, clump up or nothing. So I mean, this is what I'm using. I normally use Duplicolor, but it takes too long, and when I do the second coat or the second color, it tends to to hold on to it and peel it all off. So uh, this is what I'm using right now. So as soon as I get ready, I'll. Uh, I'll spray these and uh, well, this one here. This is uh, an order that that has to be done today. And uh, I'll pause real quick and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. All right, I just uh, taped the bottom and I got a little bit of saran wrap, put it around the top, and then stuck it in the cup um, so that way it doesn't uh, get in at all. It seals uh, over the, the sealer. Now once I get done, I'll peel off the tape, go with my orange first, and let that dry. So it'll be about two coats in 20 minutes to a half an hour. And then I'll put the, the black, not too heavy, but just enough to I can uh, grab uh, the saran wrap and, and give it that effect. I'll be back. Okay, so here we are. I just uh, took the transfer tape off of the the gold here. This, this is a, a gold vinyl. doesn't matter what color it is because it's going to come right back up after I paint it. So, but anyhow, I'll be back after I give it this coat of black. Alright, so I've given it a pretty a light coat. The first coat is going to be uh, light. I'm holding my one hand so I'm going to have to do this kind of slow. It don't matter because this paint has to dry anyways. So the first coat was pretty light. Let it dry to the touch and then just kind of give it a little bit of extra on the next coat. I'm not hitting it too hard. You can still see some of the metal uh, through the paint and I'll wait for this to dry also right here. I'll give it another coat. So, that way it's kind of kind of even. It's not heavy. It's not going to sag on me. <clears throat> so I'll let this dry and then I'll come right back for a third coat, or I'll just do the third coat and then do the orange. All right, just uh, take the saran wrap off this uh, cup after painting it orange. In some of the heavier spots I could just dab and it'll come up little pieces you know I could do it as as I please if it didn't come off in, in a good spot that I wanted to again this is kind of hard doing this with one hand but I think this is going to be good right where it's at I'll let this dry and as soon as it's good and dry you can still see the word Giants there going down I'll take that off and the SF that's on this side um, as soon as it's dry I think I'll bring it inside all right, let's see. I took the lid off, and then I took the tape off the bottom, so that way when I put the resin, I'll cover the whole entire surface of the red, uh, the cup and the design. So I'm just going to give this a little bit more time to dry. It does look kind of glossy still. I want it to to mat up just a little bit. So when I know that it's completely dry, I'll take the letters off. I'll try to do it holding this. Uh, this camera, if not, I'll just do it off camera and I'll show you the the end result here. Alrighty. Alright, so I set you guys up on a tripod. 
So I got my little dental tool that I use to to do this here. So the, the little bit difficult part is uh, kind of getting all that, some of the glue off of this from uh, <clears throat> the adhesive vinyl. It's an old piece of vinyl. It's been sitting for a while. So um, There's some other stuff I found out that I could use that doesn't leave it, but I'm... I don't use this vinyl anymore, so I figured I could use it to get rid of it. <coughs> so. take some time after this is totally and completely dry and uh, clean off some of the the glue that's left from the vinyl <coughs> and uh, once it's clean the way I like it uh, and dried um, if I get a chance to tonight, I will glaze this one or the, the resin coat. If not, I'll do that first thing in the morning just to give it some time to dry, some cure time. All right, well, this is what I do until it's time to, to put the glaze on. I like to put two coats, uh, but I know the time is, uh, is short, so. I'm going to attempt to put two quotes. Like if I can put one tonight, then we'll do that and we'll hook that up. But let me know what you think, all writer. Well, it'll look better once it's cleaned up. Thanks for watching. All right, I just got done uh, giving this puppy a, a second uh, coating of the resin, this is this two part resin. It's called Amazing uh, Clear Craft. This is a side B and side A. It's a two part. You mix them evenly and then you stir it. You need little things here. You put it on with a sponge brush. Uh, make sure you don't stir it too much. If you see some of these little bubbles, if you get a bubble in there, you can't take them out. It's going to be kind of hard. You know, the only thing I see about this stuff is that it gets an orange peel effect after it dries. Like after a car's been painted, it, you, know, you just can't sand this and buff it out like you would a car. So, uh, but other than that, it looks nice. This is the 20 ounce uh, tumbler, and I just got to doing a 32 ounce, which is a lot bigger. It has the dip on it, cowboys, nice and clean. Look at that. So, this will dry up uh, tonight into tomorrow. I'll give it one more uh, coat to give it that nice thick coat and it'll be ready to go. So another day that way I could give it a nice good coat and uh, it'll last a lot longer.
Same thing with this guy right here. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, being around when I do these things. And uh, anyways, uh, thanks for uh, checking in with me. And uh, there's some other things I'll post up.